Grade 12, thank you teachers for allowing us this time so that uh, the Grade 12s can listen to the four classmates who are requesting to represent them as valedictorian at this year's grad ceremony, which will be on June 1st. The four candidates requesting to be considered to represent all of you as your valedictorian are Adriana Bozzo, Tia D'Souza, Lorena Mar Marconi, and Cheyenne Moss. So without further ado, I will let your candidates come and have their presentation. Thank you. Dear graduating class of 2022, the cliche has held true. The past four years flew by, but it wasn't in the absence of lots of memories, formative experiences, and in our special case, a worldwide pandemic. This upcoming graduation is extremely special for us. Life turned upside down mid grade 10, and since then, the journey has been nothing short of a roller coaster. We have experienced exhaustion from 23 day classes and far too many teams calls. We have experienced frustra frustration as we moved in and out of lockdowns, uncertain how long they would last. We have experienced defeat as yet another variant emerged time and time again. We have witnessed the pain and suffering this pandemic has caused worldwide. And yet, here we are. We are still standing. I hope you grant me the honor of reflecting on our very unique high school experience. If the past four years have taught us anything, it is to trust in what is unknown. Because even though we have seen suffering, we have also seen the world rally together in a beautiful display of perseverance. Let us take this time to celebrate how far we have come, each and every one of us, before we embark into the unknown that lies ahead. Thank you. Good morning, STM. My name is Tia D'Souza, and I am honored to have the opportunity to be your valedictorian for the class of 2022. Let us begin by thanking God for the strength and mercy that he provides us with. Graduation represents something special for all of us, whether it be the start of a new adventure, opportunities, change, or simply a sense of normalcy. It is an end and a beginning, part of a journey. What journey have you made in your school life? In all honesty, I can't remember a sports game from grade nine or 10 where there wasn't a huge crowd in the stands, an event that wasn't filled with talented performers, or a school dance that didn't have a circle full of happy energy in the middle of the dance floor. For us as STM students, it began in grade nine as we joined clubs, sports teams, committees, and went to school trips and events such as the pilgrimage, grade nine dance, semi-formal, and religion retreat. We also had our first exams ever. We continued by working as a community in grade 10 through the last in-person Halloween for Hunger food drive where the school and community worked together to help our brothers and sisters in need. This sense of community united us, no pun intended. As the pandemic officially took its hold on Ontario, what we thought would be a lucky break soon turned to disaster. Imagine, no school clubs, no events, no OSSLT, and no in-person school. Each member of the school community struggled to adapt to a changing environment. In our final year at STM, students, teachers, and families had to adjust again to a changing environment as we went back to a normal school semester halfway through the year. Balancing everything can feel intense when you haven't had a normal school year in what? Two years? Each of us failed, faced struggles. We failed, faced hardship, got stressed, and were weighed down by our problems. As we move on to the future, we do not know the obstacles and challenges that lie ahead, but I know that all of us will keep walking until we reach our goals. As students, our experience at STM has given us a foundation to be leaders of the next generation. Our school motto translates to academic excellence, athletic excellence, and religious excellence. Whether it be in academics, sports, faith, community involvement, or life in general, we are prepared for the next step in our lives. We are also knights after we graduate. As we look to the future, we acknowledge our journey, this new beginning, and hope for a better tomorrow. Thanks, and good luck, STM. God bless. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lorena Morconi, and I would love to represent the 2022 graduating class as valedictorian. When thinking about this task, I have to admit 
It was a bit overwhelming. To summarize our entire high school experience, it's such an important part of who we are. So I started off knowing what I don't want the speech to be about. I don't want to focus on the negative things that have happened. It's so easy to get caught up in all the things we've lost over the last few years, but I don't want that to overpower all the good. I also don't want the speech to be long and drawn out. I know no one wants to hear me talk for 20 minutes, so it's okay, don't worry, that's not my plan. What I do want is for the speech to celebrate our class, to thank all those who have helped and inspired us, to focus on how we overcame adversity and what we learned along the way. We have experienced a part of history. We could have never imagined in grade nine we would go through a global pandemic or be part of social uprisings. The world is changing and we are helping change the world. That's what I want my speech to be about. I also want to emphasize how each and every one of us have contributed to making this class so special. Whether it's school sports, music, robotics, Halloween for hunger, prefects, the list goes on and on. Even if you just focused on getting by, that's okay too. We all did the best we could under the circumstances and this speech should congratulate and appreciate it all. So I would be honored to represent the graduating class of 2022. In my not at all biased opinion, the best class of all time. Thank you. Can you believe how far we've made it class of 2022? I am Cheyenne Moss and I'm running to be your valedictorian. From the moment we stepped foot into STM, watching other seniors to the days where we were wearing masks and greeting each other with our elbows, we've had each other. I hope the events ahead have clouded your memory of that 51% you got in grade 10 math or the times you were unmuted or fell asleep during Zoom class or the three assignments you probably missed last week. Looking back at these last four years, I want us to be proud of ourselves and excited for who we have become during this time. Ecclesiastes chapter three states, to everything there's a season, a time and a place for everything under heaven. This is our time. Relish in these final moments and savor this season because whether you have grade 13, university or the workplace ahead, take comfort in knowing that this long rocky road has prepared you for an exciting, fruitful and rewarding journey ahead. After exams, of course. Thank you for listening and I would be honored to be your valedictorian this year. See you soon. Grade 12s, your four classmates, Adriana Bozzo, Tia D'Souza, Lorena Marconi, and Cheyenne Moss have shared with you their ideas of what they would share as your, as your valedictorian on June 1st at your graduation. We now ask you to take the time to vote for the candidate you would like to be your representative as valedictorian. Voting will take place on Ms. Julia's grade 12 LMS page. There you will find a link to vote. Voting will close at 1 p.m. today. It will open, I believe, right now. So teachers, on behalf of um, the grad committee, I wanna thank you for allowing us to take some time out of your class to have these speeches. And if you do have a bit of time to allow your classes to vote, we'd appreciate it. Otherwise, please encourage everyone to vote before 1 p.m. today. On behalf of the entire grade and staff, I would like to thank the candidates for taking time to not only prepare a speech for all of you, but put, your, put themselves out there. They had due dates that they had to attend to. They had to come here pretty early and we all know that the grade 12 schedule is quite hectic, so thank you to all four of you for putting yourself forward and being willing and eager to represent your class. Good luck to all of you, and thank you very much. Have a great day.